Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about how to achieve in-sprint automation within Excel Queue. Now, in-sprint automation is a process of having the entire testing process within the sprint itself. So it's more about automation happening along with development. Now, earlier in traditional tools, we needed the concept of the application to be present to record on that application. But with Excel Queue, you can have the business logic written way before the application is even ready. Now this saves you time and you don't have to wait for the sprint to get over and for the development team to make the application live. So that's the beauty of in sprint automation. And let's see how we can achieve that within Excel Queue. So let's take a scenario. So we have a QBank application. So we have our wireframes that are given to us. So we know that we have a username input field then we have a password input field. Then you click on sign in. So this is basically the login page. And then once you sign in, you get into the home page where basically what we really want to do is just click on log out. So this is a simple scenario uh, where we have the wireframes and let's see how we can write that even though the application is not ready. We say create scenario. Say here login into QBank, say save and continue. Now the first step is to invoke the browser. So we say add step. It's a system defined step, which is invoke browser. You can do that. And then you can enter the URL of the application. If it is not ready, you can add in a dummy URL and then later change it once the application is ready. And now we have the context. We know it's going to be a login page context. We say QB login page. Now the application is something that we don't have it for now. So we're going to just say skip. And then we are going to enter the login credentials. Okay. Now the action is going to be performed in the QB login page. And then from there we are going to move into the QB homepage. So all of these are new contexts which we don't have. And then what we're going to do is log out of QBank. So once we do a logout, we are going back to the login page. Okay. And then we say add step and escape. Okay. So this is the scenario that we are going to uh, write, which is invoking the browser, entering the login credentials, and then logging out. Now here at first you will see a warning saying action logic not defined for both of these steps. So let's define the action logic. So it will be more like enter text in web element. So we can enter a username and then the web element will be say username on the wireframe and we know this is going to be a web input right so we select web input and we say okay then we're going to enter the password which is encrypted text okay and then we say uh, the new element is going to be password and this is going to be a web password input so we say OK. Then we need to click on sign in button. So we say click a web element and we say sign in. Choose a new element. Right. And this is going to be a web button. We say OK. So now we have finished our scenario of entering the login credentials. We don't have any views at the moment. Then we close this. We try to complete our another logic, which is click on web element. And now this is going to be the logout button, okay, which is a new element, which is a web button. Okay, so now we have defined our scenarios. Now the action logics have been defined. Now if you click here, you will see that after action logic, is defined action logic refers to 
undefined abstract element which means we do not have the objects mapped properly so let's click on enter login credentials now say the application becomes ready in the middle of the sprint so you have your logic already written now what you need to do is just capture the uh, views so say we have the application now ready which is this application which is the cube and the application where you enter the username password sign in and then log out okay so now this views are ready so we capture this views say for example so we record this view which is the login view and then we say add view and let's continue the recording and also record the logout view so we say continue recording and we sign in and we capture the QB home page view as well okay so let's record this page so it's done and now both our views are added so we say save and done click on done now here what we need to do is we need to click on the username so we go to this view we say update save element and now in place of username web input we map this particular input so this is the correct id we say save now we are good with this okay now again uh, we need to define the password so we click on password now we save this element as well okay and then we have uh, the sign in button so we say sign in button here we add the properties and we say save so now this has turned from orange to green so we are good defining and mapping the objects here now let's map the objects in logout so you see here this logout is orange so we will map uh, the logout button now that the application is ready so we say update save element and logout okay so we are done here and we say save so all good now uh, our logic is ready and we have mapped the objects just refresh this scenario and now we are good to go so we have invoked the browser we have entered the login credentials and then we have logged out and then we click on run say run and then we track the progress so we wait for the agent uh, we wait for it to set up uh, right and the most important thing is you know once you have the logic written once everything is set uh, you know it's very easy to just quickly map the objects and then you know make sure uh, your entire script is ready in just a matter of seconds right so that's the beauty of inspired automation and how xlq supports inspired automation so let's wait for the setup to be in progress now it opens your qbank application it enters the username password and then it logs out right so this is how the simple scenario of inspired automation is achieved for the login use case so that's about it hope you liked it thank you